Time to meet Stefan Curtis from London. His busy lifestyle means he struggles to find the time to indulge in his favourite passion. Can the gadget geeks help him out? I understand you're a keen golfer. I am, yeah. I do enjoy a nice round of golf, but due to work constraints and working long hours, I don't get to go around 18 holes as often as I would like. All right, well, we think we've got an idea that you're going to love. We want to build you the ultimate golf buggy. That sounds interesting. <laughs> Tell me more. We want to put every kind of technology we can to speed up your round. How long would it normally take you? Uh, probably around four or five hours. All right, we reckon we can get that down to about an hour or so. <laughs> I'm definitely keen to give that a go. <laughs> So it's straight over to the barn, and the geeks have got hold of a bog-standard golf buggy. After a less than quick speed test... It's pathetic! 45 seconds! I can't believe how slow these things are. Colin has an ingenious plan to get more power from the buggy's engine. OK, now, under normal running, these things only use about 30% of the throttle. Now, if I show you, when you push your accelerator, it automatically starts the engine. Then it kind of settles down, doesn't it? Well, of course, now I've attached this... ..we get access to the remaining 70% or whatever, and, of course, you know, the engine's running faster, off goes the golf buggy. Will the buggy go quicker with Colin's extra throttle? OK, Colin! Turbo on! Three, two, one, go! Come on. Come on, that's better, that's better. <laughs> that is so much faster. Come on, Golf Buggy, come on! Yes! Come on! Come on, Golf Buggy, come on! <laughs> it's better! <laughs> <laughs> you nearly rolled that! 24 seconds! <laughs> Told you there's more to come out of this thing. All we need to do now is tech it up a bit more. Right. Do you want to give me a left back? Sure do. Go for it. Back inside, and Tom gets on with teching up the buggy with a GPS system that will not only guide you around the course, but will tell you your distance from the hole and which club you should use. So, as far as it's concerned, um, the far side of the barn is the hole. So it says we're 22 yards away, it's recommending a sand wedge. So hopefully, as I walk away, it'll say there's more yards to the hole and it'll recommend different clubs. As Tom walks further from the barn, his computer continually updates with new distance readings and suggestions for appropriate clubs. 45, there's a seven iron. It works. OK, Tom, well done. You can come back now. The next day, the geeks put the finishing touches to their ultimate golf buggy. Colin uses a little bit of tartan to make sure it will look at home in any high-class golfing establishment. While Charles has built a wind sensor to make the automatic club selection more accurate. 34. Tom, on the other hand, in a bid to improve his GPS system, is talking to himself. The wind is miles per hour, north, northeast. Recommend a driver, three wood. Remember, golf is a game played in the mind. Stay calm when the odds are against you. Yeah, good advice, Tom. And as the geeks toil away into the night, they're feeling confident that their super buggy will deliver. Hopefully, by the time we're done, Stefan's going to look at this and he's going to say, that is brilliant. It's one complete package. The geeks have arranged to meet Stefan at this posh golf course to reveal their super buggy and take it for what they hope will be a very quick round of golf. OK, and Stefan, this is the ultimate golf buggy which we've made for you. Tom? And there it is, the ultimate golf buggy, tartaned up to the max with all the tech the modern golfer in a hurry could ever need. I'm happy with that. I like the tartan, particularly. <laughs> it's a petrol golf buggy. And when just a normal person gets in it, it'll go as fast as a normal petrol golf buggy's allowed. But we've got a little sneaky lever in it. If you pull that, it basically opens the throttle up a bit more and it'll go twice as fast. Excellent. Okay. We've, uh, we've put twin exhausts on it. Right. Wow. We've got a golf GPS system, custom designed. We've got a full weather system at the top so we can do wind speed direction. I'm going to be your chauffeur yeah. for the day. Stefan normally takes four or five hours to complete 18 holes. But how quickly can he get round in the super buggy? And just to give themselves something to do, Tom and Charles set off in a normal golf buggy to see if they can keep up. 
without being slowed down by actually playing golf. Okay, Stephanie, if you press one, then enter. 96 yards to the hole. The wind is one miles per hour east. Recommend a pitching weight. Tom's GPS club selection software is working perfectly and starts shaving valuable time off Stefan's round. Between shots, Stefan saves even more time as the super buggy goes at more than 10 times his usual walking pace and leaves Tom and Charles in its wake. My foot on the floor. My foot is on the floor. Terrible. I can run faster than that and catch him up. I'm coming for you, Colin. Wait for me. But over the next hill, disaster strikes. We've had a small incident. Yeah. Due to, oh. due to the speed. You've broken the wind sensor. We were seeing how fast wind speed could go. We've got 43, <laughs> 43. It, but it's broken then... off. But with some quick thinking and a small amount of gaffer tape, the wind sensor is back up and running. And Stefan finishes his round, not quite in an hour, as the geeks promised, but knocking a full 20% off his usual time. Hey. Well done, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, well done. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> so how was it? Yeah, it was good fun, actually. I, I enjoyed it. It was much quicker than I thought it would be. So, Stefan, would you take this golf buggy that we've made for you, the ultimate golf buggy, or would you stick with a standard one? You know what? I would take the ultimate one. Yeah, as a prototype, I think you guys have done pretty well. Sounds like a success. They promised me a quick round of golf, and I definitely got a quick round of golf. My mate saw it, I think uh, there might be a hint of jealousy with the speed as I leave them trailing in my way. From a slow, boring and unhelpful little cart, the geeks have created the ultimate time-saving golf buggy, complete with distance and wind speed calculations and golf club selector. You can complete your round 20% quicker, giving you a better chance of fitting a round of golf into your busy schedule. Number of stars rated, four.